Hey, it's Jess from Tech with Jess, and today we are going to learn how to add the Calendly code to a WordPress website. Now I have WordPress and I use the Elementor page builder, so that is what I'll be using today, but you can do this with other page builders as well, as long as you have a code block. So let's click on the settings over here. If I wanted to have them see all of my different appointment types that are not hidden. So any ones that don't have this I crossed out, I would use this setting to add that. But that might show several different events. I don't want to show several different events. I want to show only the one that clients would use to book me, which would be the discovery call. So I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to come to the settings and click add to website. Now here I have three different options. So I could have the calendar embedded on a page where people can book directly from that page, or I could have this pop-up widget and you can have all of these if you want. I can have this pop-up widget that floats up and down the side of the page, or I could just have pop-up text. So text links to your site that launches Calendly as a pop-up. So three different options. Again, you can use all of them or just one. I'm going to choose this inline embed. And here I can edit the colors, make it look pretty. 6BC, 6BC, the text color is black, the background color is white. Here I can hide event details, which would hide like my profile picture, my name, the event duration, location. But I like to leave all that information on there for when people book me so they can see what they're getting into. And then just copy that code once these settings are good to go and come over to your website. Now I have just created a blank page. I'm going to edit with Elementor. And now I'm going to get a code block and drag it over. All right, so now I'm just going to paste this code. And here you can see the calendar. So if I press update, we can view these changes as a potential client would. So here you can see they can come over to available dates and schedule with me. So that's one way of doing it. Let's try another option. Let's try the pop-up widget. So I'm going to click on here to press continue. Here you can change the button text. You can change the background color of the button, the text color in the page settings. Okay. So once those settings are good, we are going to copy this code and this is going to add the widget to the page. So I'm going to come over here again and drag a new HTML code block over. And I'm going to press update. Here you can see the button right away. Let's preview the changes. And as you can see, this little button goes up and down the screen. So if I go to another page, you can see that the button is not here. So you do want to add it to the pages that you'd like to have it on. I would probably not keep it on my contact page if I already have the calendar right there in front. But this would be great for the home page or about page or services, portfolio, et cetera. So that was our third option. And let's look at the last one, the pop-up text. Here we are going to, again, change the settings as you wish and then just grab that code. Copy code. And let's go back to this page and add one more HTML code block. Okay. So update changes and then preview those changes. So here you can see the text just says schedule time with me. And if they click on that, it shows this calendar. So that's the third way to do it. This one's not my favorite. 
but you do have those different options. So you can do whatever works best for you. I hope that was helpful. If you guys have questions about adding this to your website, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to answer those for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.